November snow welcomed Hog fans to Fayetteville for the out-of-conference matchup with Southwestern Louisiana on the 11. Danny Ford even got in on the action to assure the Razorbacks had a good playing service by game time. But it would take more than cold temperatures and snow to keep away the families of honored seniors like Barry Lunny Jr. and Steve Conley. An afternoon of turnovers for both teams began early when Lunny attempted this deep pass to J.J. Metters in the opening quarter. Vincent Bradford would return the favor a little bit later, however. The interception would pave the way for Arkansas's first points of the game on this Todd Laderette 35 yard field goal. Arkansas took over again when Geno Bell's pop here turned the ball loose. Spencer Brown on the recovery. Madre Hill continued to prove throughout the season that he was indeed king of the hill. This 23 yard sprint in the second quarter would send Madre well on his way to a record breaking day. With just under nine minutes to play in the half, Lunny goes in for the touchdown. Arkansas led 10 to nothing. A repeat performance of the first quarter attempt to J.J. Metters brought about the same result. But the Arkansas defense would not yield. Steve Conley and Junior Soley wrapped up the Ragin' Cajuns for another loss. Houston, Texas senior Del Delco then accomplished a first of his own. DeLoam looking, firing down the middle. It is intercepted at the 38, back to the 40. Del Delco midfield at the 40, 35. Delco at the 20, the 15, the 10. Touchdown! Southwestern Louisiana soon found out that moving the ball on the Hogs would be plenty of work. But late in the first half, the Ragin' Cajuns managed to do just that. Arkansas's lead was cut to 10. In the third quarter, Razorback senior Steve Conley lived up to his previous Saturday's Player of the Week honors. USL is backed up 15 yards here. Madre Hill went back to work on the Hogs' next possession. Here, he breaks loose for a 33-yard gain to put the Razorbacks inside the 25. Then, up the middle again for six yards. Madre capped the 66-yard drive with his 14-yard touchdown run to help the Hogs go up 24-7. 56 of those 66 yards belong to Madre Hill. As we move into the fourth quarter, again we see just how dangerous the Arkansas defense can be at any given time. Marcus Adair wraps up the Cajuns for yet another big loss. The defense was just getting warmed up. Mark Smith breaks through a little bit later to cause this USL fumble. Geno Bell is in the right place at the right time. On the next possession, Pete Burks gives to Madre Hill one last time. This five-yard run sends the Malvern sophomore into the Arkansas record books forever. The gain placed Hill atop the school's single-season rushing leader list with 1,302 yards. Arkansas still had three games to play. Ruston, Louisiana senior J.J. Metters also would go down in the record books this day. Metters' seven catches propelled him past Chuck Dykus' 118 grabs for the career catch record. The Ragin' Cajuns finally got back on the board late in the game with a 24-yard reception. Arkansas remained on top, however, 24-13. USL did manage to make one last run at the Razorbacks after recovering an onside kick. But Moralton Spencer Brown put any comeback hopes away with this interception a few plays later. Arkansas moved to 8-2 with a date with the LSU Tigers in Death Valley the following Saturday.